you create the condition of the gravitational field of the planet which is providing more field forces for the carbon balance to be in operation that the nitrogen itself becomes irrelevant. Now, every element of the carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen is there to feed, so the plant grows faster. Thing I'm going to look at today is, is um, looking at forest fires and understanding from a plasma perspective because what we have to start doing is once we start understanding how this plasma works it's nature that's going to show us all the practical applications and when we start really looking at nature and delving into how it really works we'll find that we come across the same concepts that we've learned in plasma in nature all the time and this is one of them in terms of uh, forest fires, which I'll go through and explain. When you have a forest fire, um, we always see huge growth in vegetation after a fire. You know, the fire will come through and burn everything black. And after a good rain and within a few weeks, you're having huge growth and lush vegetation that that is taken over where that forest fire was. And the plasma will explain what is happening in so when a fire burns through a forest and, and burns and starts burning your trees and your plants we're left with a pile of ash uh, what is left of the plants after the fire is your carbon and your minerals because your hydrogen nitrogen oxygen were all burnt off and released during the fire so you're left with the minerals and the carbon from the plants and these would be in a nano state uh, so these would be on the ground as, as your ash. Then we, we add the rainwater. Now your rainwater is going to mix with the ash from the fire. And as we know, you can use ash from a fire as your caustic soda. Now this penetrates into the top layers of your soils with the rain. So what you're creating is a slightly alkaline condition in your top layers of your soils. This alkaline condition will react with minerals that's already been in your soil, uh, producing additional nanomaterials of your elements. This is the same process we want to make food ganses, is we have to create the nanomaterials uh, before we can make a gans of it. And this is what nature is doing here as well, is creating the nanomaterials through the alkaline condition first. Then we know that all soils contain various salts, uh, sodium, potassium, and magnesium salts in different combinations. So now we have these nanomaterials with various salts in the soil with the rainwater. And what we produce is then the GANs of the various elements of the soil. And this is exactly the same process as we have in our little box when we're creating the CO2 or our copper GANs is because we first create the nanomaterial and then with the salt, we create the GANs of it. And this is exactly what nature is doing from the perspective of the fire. So, what you're getting is that this process has improved the soils um, because now you've got those ganses available to your plant it allows the soil biology to start thriving uh, which in turn provides an abundant array of fields for the new plant growth to use because you've got this huge array of, of different materials in your soil that have all been ganced and or can provide those fields in addition to the rainwater, we also have the added fields of nitrogen and amino acids coming through the rainwater, uh, which all add to the uh, growth of the plants. So essentially, it's another way of nature restoring balance through a fire. And that's why we get huge growth 
uh, seen in forests that have, where fire has gone through, it's because you have all this available minerals for the plants that can use the fields of all these different minerals and grow because, with, because they've got enough food that they can use. So that just gives you a different understanding of and explains how one needs to start looking through the lens of plasma to, to look at nature and understand what is really going on.